this Ford Focus ST should not cost £42,000. Here's why. So I'm filming this on the 24th of May 2022 and I want to get the message out why this is the case. So brand new, if you were to order this Focus ST 2.3 litre facelift version, it would cost you from a Ford website, if you got it brand new, around about £35,000. If you go to all the models, you get a message that says due to customer demand and supply chain disruption, new factory orders are currently unavailable on new Focus. So you can't buy any new Focus, let alone the top of the range Focus ST. As a result, if you went onto Auto Trader and searched for the new Focus ST, you have models ranging up to £42,000 and some, well, a little bit better at £36,000 and sort of going down from that. Obviously a huge premium over what this car would cost new. There is no supply. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. I didn't realise it was on all models, you know, even like their mild hybrid ones or their base models, you can't get them, which is a real shame. I really like the new Focus. You know, I've seen, I saw it, I was at um, Bewley for the fast, for Simply Ford, like an event um, in the New Forest. And I saw the new Focus there and it looked cool. It, it had a really nice front end. It looked great. So I have driven the new Focus ST, just not the facelift. And it's a fantastic car to sort of live with and own. This is a well spec car. But you know, forty-two thousand pounds is a lot to is a lot to pay. And I actually caught this off the back of my previous video when I was talking about the Fiesta ST. Those um, computer screens are actually built in Ukraine, so that's obviously one part that they can't then add to it. So you can't spec it like that. It's really, really uncertain. It's completely uncertain, and that's why prices are as they are. But unfortunately, for a lot of people who potentially are not aware of what an actual value of a car is and how as high as something can go, it can fall very, very hard. Bear in mind, normally, if you bought a £35,000 Ford Focus, say if you paid £35,000 for this car, after about a year or two, you'd probably be looking at a car that's probably worth around £25,000 if you've done sort of the average mileage on it. So you would have lost £10,000 of your money, plus whatever your APR interest rate would have been as well. That's still not out of the question. None of that really changes. But if you pay £7,000 more than the car is worth in the first place with no discount that hit could potentially be even worse now i'm not expecting the car market to suddenly turn around and become fantastic overnight it's just not going to happen it's going to take years to really get itself together but don't bank on it as a being some sort of an investment that you could kind of flip or b being a good source of value because it will fundamentally lose money and it's yeah, it's not something that I would recommend people sort of get too excited about and sort of jump into the car. Um, I'd very much look for a used two-year-old kind of previous, not pre-facelift Focus ST. That's where I would kind of go for your money. For me, the car is not worth £42,000. It's, it's far too expensive. Okay, you can't buy it brand new from Ford. I 100% appreciate that, but that doesn't mean it's suddenly a good thing to spend more money just so you can get the car instantly you know you can you could have it today on the 24th of may if you wanted to but that's not the way you should be thinking you, you've got to kind of protect it and it is worrying for a lot of people who can get into this kind of thing particularly with the issues that we're having with inflation the issues that we're having with sort of like food issues even just sort of getting you know food on the table priorities are going to go to these kind of areas and savings in these kind of areas and they're not going to go into high premium purchased cars that's just where i'm thinking of i think it will slowly decline but i'm really interested to know people's thoughts in the comments and yeah forty-two thousand pounds still blew my mind it's it's incredible